everybody. I hope you're all well. I'm making potato cakes today, uh, which is quite exciting because I, 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 yeah, I love anything potato, um, and I really wanted to try and see if I could cook it in the air fryer. Um, so here are the ingredients. I've got cold um, mashed potato. So I've already added a little bit of milk and a little bit of marge and seasoning. Um, and apparently it must be cold when you come to make a, a potato cake. That's the flour. I've added some chives from the garden and um, it's got salt and pe pepper as well. This is um, some spring onions and uh, the egg. And then breadcrumbs. I'm gonna breadcrumb them, see if that works. So yeah, let's crack on and let's get cooking. Bung it all in the bowl. And, um, make some, I mean, this is gonna be really nice. I actually might make a poached egg um, to go with my test one. Uh, but with the rest of them, I'm going to freeze them for another day for breakfast um, when we have a sort of weekend breakfast. And then that'd be quite interesting to see how they fare for that. So, yeah, let's get cracking and get cooking. See you in a bit. It's going to add a bit more flour. It's just a bit too uh, sticky. have some flour in hand actually I didn't really think about that that's uh good idea to have some flour on your hand fingers or hands Oh, I'm pleased with that. Yeah, a bit squishy, but I suppose that's the way it is. I've never made potato cakes before. I, I love this This whole channel is making me make things I've never made before. It's, it's really stretching um, 
you know, it, it, it's great fun, basically. Um, and it's the air fryer sort of opened up a whole new dimension, which is great. So let's get these in the air fryer. And I am think I'm going to try uh, maybe one draw on Max Crisp and one draw on air fryer to see if there's any differences and which is better. And in the draw two, I actually made a bacon, uh, some ba cook some bacon in there for Al's um, breakfast. Uh, so I'm going to utilise that because it adds flavour, doesn't it? In fact, small bacon, bacon pieces would have gone really nice in this. And I bet um, even a bit of parmesan in the breadcrumbs. And if you've, if you've made potato cakes, tell me your recipe, what you've added, because I will definitely make this again. Um, and it's these are simple. This is a simple uh, spring onion, um, etc. But yeah, let me know what you've how you've made your potato cakes. Oh, let's get them in the uh, oven, the air fryer. <laughs> right. Yes, just gently. Oh, actually, no, I'm, I'd like to spray it. Sorry, bear with, bear with. Mustn't forget this. Hopefully that will help. Right, let's get one in. I wonder how many I can fit, actually. Oh, squishy. Well, let's just spray them. I don't know whether spraying's a good idea, but I feel I should. So let me know what you do. Do you spray them with oil or, or not? So this has got no um, bacon. It's all clean. So taste-wise, it'll be interesting to see. I'm going to freeze most of these, but obviously for the taste test. I will definitely be eating one of them. It's basically my lunch. Right. Oh, I'm gonna spray it. Oh, I forgot to spray the underside. Oh, for God's sake, woman. Oh, man alive. Oh, well, at least I've sprayed that half and hopefully uh, it's gonna stick, isn't it? Right. So I think Max Crisp's draw one. Let's just start that, then draw two, air fry for 10 minutes. We're going to flip them as well. Touch with, does none of them stick. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, 10 minutes are nearly up, so let's have a look. Ooh. Cool, they're looking, they're looking good. That's the Max Crisp one. Oh, I need a chopping board. Well, I'm going to try and flip, flip them. Oh. oh, yes. Right, give them a spray. minutes well let's just stop that for the moment um so add oh, hold on what am i doing uh, one i'm just gonna add five minutes i don't need so long on the bottom i don't think right oh yeah so they're air fried but they don't look as cooked as the uh, max crisp should we have a, just a quick oh no i've turned them over no. oh, wally um I wonder if I could leave these for a bit longer, actually. They need to be a bit longer. So, two. Oh, three minutes. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the one. Right, see you in a bit. Oh, I've got to press it. <laughs> oh, dull. Right, one is about to end. In, so let's turn them. They look a lot. Oh, what the heck! This is the one with the bacon in, so hopefully that will add flavour. Oh, it's a bit stick sticking though. Yeah. There you go. 
over you go. Than any longer, so they're just under just a minute left. I'll work out the timings. Lovely. There we go. We got a bit busy in the kitchen. The boys got came back from school and they needed their snack. So uh, that, what's that? Eight there, and I've got two cooking in the in the drawer in drawer one because most of these are going to be for the freezer, apart from my taste test one. I think they look pretty good. To be fair, it just took a slightly longer for the air fry to cook compared to the Max Crisp but so Max Crisp I'd say was a bit quicker so I'm going to make myself a poached egg to go with one of these as a taste test the rest I'm going to leave to cool uh, and put in the freezer for a weekend breakfast treats um, to go with your you know a poached egg or your sausage and bacon or whatever mmm very nice so I hope, oh, I'm looking forward to the taste test so I'm going to get my poached egg ready uh, um, yeah I've, I've done a poached egg vlog so that'll be at the end or I'll, I'll do a link here Woo! I'm getting good at this <laughs> um, if you want to watch that uh, yeah so yeah I'm gonna get this poached egg ready because I really want to try one of these potato cakes see you in a bit oh taste test time look at that with a poached egg on top well and poached egg cooked in the air fryer I nearly ruined it getting it out but you know luckily <laughs> I saved it right let's get a knife and fork just open it up Ooh. Well, I'm just gonna lower you oh no in fact go a bit higher because I'm crouched down like no business oh let's try this no just try some of the it's got essence of yolk. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. All the spring onions. Mmm, very oniony, lovely. I've got to have another bit. That was that was delicious. I love that. Oh my god, and I've got, how many have I got left? Nine for the freezer. Oh, that's really good. That was, that was for four of us. That's, well, at least two weeks, you know, two breakfasts, special breakfasts at the weekend. Really yummy. And the spring onion, mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, with a poached egg. That is really lovely. Oh yeah, that's well worth, what, about an hour of your time? You know exactly what's in your potato cake. You know, no hidden additives or whatever. Um, the cost breakdown, that'll be at the end. Um, I hope, yeah, I mean, I'll try and work out, if, you know, something similar, because are they like hash browns? I guess so. I don't know, you, you're making your own delicious potato cakes leftover mash if you've got some you know what mm. well I'm gonna finish this and it's delicious thumbs up I'm, I'm, oh, I'm really pleased with that thank you everybody for watching and all your lovely comments thank you so much for subscribing and all that malarkey I really appreciate it and hello to all my new subscribers i hope you got to if you got to the end that's great thank you so much um and yeah have a what when's this going out wednesday i hope you're having a great week and it's downhill from wednesday heading towards the weekend Woo. so take care and see you on the next one bye
delicious. 